focus on your breath, know when it's coming in, know when it's going out, and be mindful to keep that in mind. In other words, keep remembering each time the breath comes in, you want to stay with the breath. You don't want to go wandering off someplace else. Each time it goes out, you want to stay with it all the way out. Don't let the mind go wandering off other places. This is one of the important things we develop as we meditate, is the power of mindfulness, keeping something in mind. In this particular case, we decide we want to do something good with our lives. We want to do something good with training the mind. Because we realize that our lives are shaped by the, our actions. Where do our actions come from? Well, they come from our intentions. Our intentions come from the mind. And if the mind is well trained, okay, it's much more likely that your intentions are going to be good. And if you're mindful and alert, that means you can check your intentions to make sure they really are good. It turns out that you're acting on an unskillful intention, you can check yourself and catch yourself in time so it doesn't become another unskillful force shaping your life. This is why mindfulness is so important, because we are forgetful. I mean, greed, anger, and delusion still do arise, and they have their appeal. They have their, their ways of making us think that we want to do, as you say, or think something that's really stupid, something that's really harmful. But if we have mindfulness to keep remembering it, that's okay, that's not what we want in life, because what, what do we have in our lives? We've got a body right now, we've got material things, we've got friends. But which of those things are going to stick with us after we die? There was a funeral in Bangkok recently. In fact, that's why I went to Thailand. It was to, for this funeral. And during the funeral, it, was, it seemed everything seemed nice and warm and sociable, because lots of people were there, lots of people were helping out. But then the very last day, after the cremation, we took the ashes out to the mouth of the Chao Priya River. We put the urn down in the water, sprinkled flowers in the water, and then as the boat took one last circle around, we could see this just little tiny trail of flowers heading out to the sea. And that didn't seem very sociable at all. The sea just seemed big and lonely. And that was, it was a symbol for how our lives go. We have lots of friends, lots of things making us happy in this lifetime, but what we have at the very end, our friends can send us only so far. Our things can, can't go with us. From that point on, it's just our actions. And the question is, what kind of actions do you have to take with you? The results of the actions that you've done. You want to make sure that they're good actions. As the Buddha said, if you have good actions, they're like relatives receiving you on the other shore, happy to see a relative who's been away for a long time. So what kind of relatives do you want on that other shore? You want good relatives, or you want people who are constantly bickering, full of greed, anger, and delusion? So you want to think about this each time you choose to act, which means each moment of the day, because that we're acting all the time, making decisions all the time. So try to be mindful that whatever you do, you want it to be skillful. Because it's your actions that stick with you. Other things pass away, pass away, but your actions go with you. So you want them to be the relatives on the other shore. So each time you act, each time you open your mouth, as John Lee once said, you bow down to your mouth every day. You've got a human mouth here. It's not the case that you've had a human mouth every time, but you've got one right now. And you've accumulated the merit, you've accumulated all the good actions that gave you a good mouth this time. So use your mouth well. The same with your hands, your head every part of the body. You've got these good human parts right now. Make sure that, at the very least, you maintain this, your, your human treasures, the treasure of a human life, the treasure of human abilities. So when the next time you come into another lifetime, okay, you still have these abilities with you because you've used them well this time around. So try to keep that point in mind. And as we practice meditation, it strengthens our powers of mindfulness, so even when greed, anger, and delusion do come up in full force, they don't take over. They don't make you forget.